Hey everyone, you're just in time for Summer Time. Today we're going to be talking about Bitcoin with the social media and tech genius, Mr. Jack Dorsey. In Ghana, we say Akwaba, which means welcome. Yes, so Akwaba. Thank you. You're welcome. So I have researched that you're Friday born, and Friday borns here are called Kofi. So in here, you'd be called Jack Kofi Dorsey. That's something you can learn today. Yeah, thank you. So, Kofis are passionate, kind, they're wise, and they're deep thinkers. Does that describe you? I hope so. (laughs) (laughs) So far, I think it describes you. Awesome. Thank you. You're welcome. What made you get into fintech? We saw a problem that my co-founder had for Square, and we wanted to solve it. And it turns out his problem was also the problem of many other people, which is he couldn't accept a credit card. We built something to enable him to accept a credit card from his mobile phone. And it turns out other people wanted the same thing. So that's how we built the company. Surprise how that small thing can turn into a really big thing. So, yeah, yeah they that's big. They always, things always start small and then, you they know. Get bigger. They get bigger. So in the simplest of terms, how would you define Bitcoin? An open monetary transmission protocol or network. It's a way to send money and uh, it's a way to do it without any control by a government or by a corporation. And this is necessary and important because you never know how certain organizations or institutions move. Um, And um, you know the, the reason we started is because Visa and MasterCard would not enable small businesses to participate on their network because they didn't know how. We figured out how to how to help them, um, and then we brought in all these small businesses. And there's a lot of banks and corporations that may not know how to bring everyone onto the financial rails, but Bitcoin enables everyone to participate. Um, so that's why it's important. If if the internet were to have a currency to itself, um, it would probably look like Bitcoin. And if the internet is an abstraction for the world, which I think it is. That means the whole world could have one currency, one way to transmit money, and every single person can actually participate without having to go through and sign up for a bank account, without having to get permission from their government. And that really enables so much more economic activity and, and uh, I think, well-being for all. That's very, very true. What one f- fun fact about you that no one knows? People know I'm a Kofi now, so that's, that, was my, that was my fact. I don't know. Um, I don't know. I like to walk a lot. So after this next panel, I'm going to go walk on the beach. But in your opinion, because I've been asking people this, would you rather mine Bitcoin or buy it? It's not about mining. It's not about saving it necessarily. It's about using it. And everyone gets to use the same uh, model, the same currency. And that means it opens the doors for, for everyone as well. That's like a different type of answer because I've been getting answers as either, okay, buy it because that's the way I know it and you can see from a lot that way or mine it because they like the extra challenge and everything. That's from a coffee. <laughs> <laughs> that's what you get from a coffee, I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry, I'm not sorry. <laughs> Do you have any encouraging words for children? Just explore. You know, I, I think the most important thing is to explore as much as you can and then You'll figure out what you want to do and what you need to do um, from that. Don't put too much pressure on yourself. It's best to explore and observe and figure out what resonates with you and what doesn't. And you'll find your path based on that. Can a child participate like me to help with Bitcoin? Yeah, everyone can help participate. It doesn't matter your age or who you are or where you come from. It's for the world, everyone in the world to participate. By asking these questions, by doing these interviews, by... Um, bring more awareness to Bitcoin in your own community and much broader over the internet. And the way that you ask questions, I think, is doing a ton of help. Wow. I'm glad because then I can help too. And I always wanted to help because now I'm recently learning about Bitcoin and how it works. And I'm just so in awe about it. I'm like, wow, I get to see how this works and everything. And I'm 10. Yeah, incredible. Yeah. You're starting early. Yes. <laughs> But I'm very excited. But thank you so much again for letting me interview you and letting me take your time for me to do it. Thank you so much for the time. You're welcome.